Welcome back to Smoke Grow News for this 27th of September. And today, I'm going to talk about Daniel Andrews, Evasion of Accountability. Um, uh, the original episode of this, uh, the original title was going to be, Damn, why'd you have to fuck me like that? But, um, <clears throat> didn't, uh, can't really see the hands. And so, uh, what can we do? Anyways, so on Friday, um, the, the Coates Inquiry uh, the, the, had heard Daniel Andrews, and um, there's the capital assisting, Rachel uh, Elliott, uh, Elliott, and she had all of the documents and had asked questions of all of the people. And she got the opportunity to just encircle the Premier, which is what uh, the journalists can't really do because the the model of journalism pits them against each other you know, in terms of competition and ego and this, that, the other thing, that you can't really uh, coordinate. I mean, obviously you can have informal and formal kind of coordination, but you can't have like a full scale, like, you, this, you, that's, you, there's no way that, this, that, 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 that the fucker can't not answer our question. Like, there's no way that we can work amongst each other stuff that, such that we can guarantee you get as close to the, to the limit of that fucking point in which you go, there you go, you son of a bitch, we caught you, we did it, we're done. And obviously this is unfortunate. Um, and that was why I kind of gave up very quickly when it became apparent that uh, Andrews wasn't going to say anything um, months ago. So just wait for the inquiry, right? There's tens of thousands of pages of documents, hundreds of thousands of pages of documents. Have somebody go through them, figure out what the fuck went wrong, then ask the questions of the people involved such that they had, like, there's like a Venn diagram of cooperation between these, these, these different groups of people that you've identified through reading through the hundreds and thousands of paper, pages of documents such that so you can categorically go, this is what happened. It's like playing Cluedo. It's like it was the, this person there with this particular thing, right? We could all go home, hooray. First of all, that public expectation was always uh, going to be life isn't narrative you don't get that kind of wow isn't that really well written it's sometimes you just get chaos and you don't get answers uh but then the other thing which is kind of what i've kind of been advocating which is that that you can just have incompetence in them amongst the chaos and it seemed that there was a lack of uh, communication uh that led to this and what i in in my hubris uh and arrogance um neglected to, to, to cogitate was that people like Martin Pakula and, and Jenny McCarkos and Daniel Andrews uh, aren't communicating uh, as effectively as they need to amongst one another rather than in public. Because from a public perspective, Daniel Andrews is a very good communicator, a very good communicator. And the level of... Um, uh, thought and consideration that needs to be put into that kind of uh, communicative infrastructure, right? Where it's just like, I can understand what you've said, the premise of the question, the, imp in uh, the, the implications of the question, and can formulate my answer around the evidence such as not to create a negative um, uh, impression. Right? That requires a an, an high degree of intelligence. And so regardless of what you want to say about as an individual from a moral perspective, at least you can go, well, from a self-interested perspective, the virus like profligating throughout the state and the country is bad politically. And he's smart enough to understand that, and he's smart enough to understand many of the of contingent parts of the uh, uh, bureaucratic governmental apparatus that you have some sort of oversight, 
of what's going on, specifically considering that he used to be the health minister, and he, you know, was involved in, you know, after the last election, when Makarkos came in, kind of shepherding her into the position, right? And so, he sits there, and the first 20 minutes of it, uh, well, this is this is this really incriminating document that the, that the pack of journalists have been asking you, uh, like wolves, uh, on behalf of, of the people for months. You've seen this document? Yes. Did you know about No. Oh, well, what can you do? So, I don't, do you know why this is just that? That's another one of them real damning documents. Yep, that's the one. Yeah, oopsie doopsie. And then you finally get to the point where it's just like, now we're at the point where you have to kind of like, uh, make uh, decisions and have an understanding. Okay, cool. Because because these are the this is the part you're involved in ostensibly. Yeah. Okay, cool. So what what are what are those things? Oh, hey. Okay, so the, the 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 why was the police and the there was a the police police didn't really want to do it. That was that was Lisa's problem. Um, we don't really communicate uh, ostensibly. Or if we do, uh, you know, not in such a way as to convey the impression that was there never is clearly and explicitly conveyed to Jenny Makarkos that the whole of the hotel quarantine uh, program and infrastructure was to be facilitated and coordinated by her, despite the fact that I had ignored the state uh, uh, directive to have the chief health officer, a member of her department, be the comptroller for the uh, uh, emergency because of my kind of, you know, power lust anyways. These are all. These are all of the the subtext of what's going on. Anyways, so he's sitting there, and he's doing his talking, and we we found out that you know separately from uh, not uh, remembering when he'd said, yeah, oh yeah, and just have the police, and you'd have the these these the you'd have security, private security, and all this kind of stuff. Because this was him just thinking off the top of his head, right? It's just like. Why, if I turn my mind to it, those are just the, you know. So how would you implement a quarantine? I don't know, you get police, maybe some security guards or something, I don't know. It's just that someone else can figure it out, right? It was a directive that came to me and me individually as a member of the National Cabinet, speaking to the Prime Minister, but I don't actually need to have any of these operational understandings because those are someone else's problem. And it should have been conveyed to the other person that it was their problem. But I can't cogitate the fact that it was my responsibility as an individual, as the conduit between the National Cabinet and the person in charge of the department is supposed to be implementing the response to make sure that it was understood down the line of responsibility who was responsible for what. And that is a failure of leadership as me, Daniel Andrews, as an individual. And he's not capable of, of cogitating it, let alone saying it publicly. And so it's just, yeah, oh well, so. I, was, I thought it was Jenny, I was, oh, when I found out it's people in my, in my own department, they didn't get to me and people, it's just, there's so many emails, you can, you can imagine, you know, there's a lot of, it's a very uh, tactile and volatile environment. It's just, do you have any idea how many you know, emails Facebook messages, things, I just, you, I ignore, you just, you, the little, you all read it, you're just like, yeah, I just, I don't care about, I just, I've made my point already, right, or it's just, I get back, I get back, do the thing, right, it's just, you know, it was one of those, it was, it was, everyone was just, because I'd said the thing, just off the top of my head, but like, people thought that that meant something, that it didn't, it was just me just, you gotta project strength and confidence, as a leader, you just make shit up. Or you just you just you make your best guesses as a leader. Anyways, so we learn all of that. And he's incapable of any self-reflection. And he throws Jenny. Yeah, she was in charge, she should have known. She's ex departing when he said to, um, security guards, but it hadn't been finalised. But if he was from another department, and his department were also the person implementing it uh, from, a, from, a, from an operational perspective, it would be a multi-agency thing. But no, there's no collective responsibility. It's just on this poor woman, right? Because she's, she's not very competent, you know, ostensibly. No, I don't know. I, that's not... Uh, 
had a problem with somebody, uh, uh, and contacted Bakarkos' office, who's had several years of problems dealing with medical professionals due to uh, kind of biases and stuff, and was able to get qual like a, a call from the minister's office to the hospital in order to be able to ensure that that person got a representative and somebody who could actually leading to a positive and new uh, outcome. And I was like, that's competence. That's you have staff who aren't in there kind of counting up, uh, you know, how many people are living in, in a house in a marginal electorate, right? It's like you're doing the actual work of government. Well, that's, that's what taxes are for. By Lord. Thank you. Right? But just throw... She should have, now, she made tactical errors. She decided to, to do Dan, Dan's work in the parliament. Oh, I just, I, you know, I'm not refused to say anything. I'll speak tomorrow when I'll say I refuse to say anything. So we get to the board where the numbers will be down low enough that I can be made scapegoat. Anyways, it's very frustrating. Um, as I said, and then at the end of it, he's lawyer. He goes, oh, now Dan, would you have any, first of all, the other thing was that he said there's obviously been these kind of like failures in, 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 in the um, uh, way that the hotels were managed. And that was a thing, another thing, like this thing about his, I don't remember why I was talking about the doctors and the, and the police and whatever. Sorry, not the, the, the police and the security things, right? Is this is the, the, the exact same situation where it's just, I just kind of assumed that there'd been breakdowns in the way that the hotels were managed. But this was person, this is the person from like the Ridges, or, like representing the Ridges, like this wasn't the hotel's fault. You've just thrown your, your minister under the bus. How is it our fault? You were using our rooms with sub, with security contractors you bought in. How the fuck is that our fault as a, as a hotel? This damaged our share price, right? We could, this could go to a, like, the, like the AGM of the board where they're like, well, these people have overseen the hotel quarantine. It's like, well, the premier, actually, you've said these, these things where you're just talking off the top of your head. Cause you know, anyways, and I've, I, 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 I like to think that, you know, a lot of what happened was foreseeable in terms of the way that Andrew's reacted, but it wasn't until yeah, I got to see it with my own eyes. Uh, under uh, um, uh, a judicial inquiry, essentially, it's like it's like a mini IBAC. You're like, yep, no, nah, he's that guy. And we have like twelve cases today, and it fucking worked in a very short period of time. And you can look around the rest of the world and we've pushed the numbers down very low. And that is as a reactive, uh, and a policy is something implemented in large part from the hard work of Jenny McCarthy. Anyway, anyways, just it's bitter and horrible for everybody.